Hey guys, what's up? So with Kachin being out for a couple days now, it well, she's been out since the start of the game, but she's been on race up now, so even more people have had access to her recently. It feels like it's right to make a Kachin build. Come up with someone who doesn't have Kachin yet. I'd love to get her, but we're gonna base a build guide off of everybody else that I've watched. Now, Kachin is one of the most versatile units in the game. Because she has many different build paths that someone can do. You can run her support, DPS, sub DPS. You you can run her with like several like different artifact combinations. You can run her with quite a lot of different weapons. She's really good for being a versatile character that you can build. Like no matter what gear you got, no matter how far you are in the game, she's just really good on all aspects. So we're gonna discuss we're how to Jeffrey. build her or different ways you can try her out and different weapons and combinations that would work on her. So if you do enjoy this and you want to support me out, only 3.3% of people watch my videos are subscribed. We're still trying to hit 1,000 subs by the end of the month. It's going to be super close, so I need you know, all the support I can get to try and reach this goal. So if you're new around here, we try to do Genshin Impact content on this channel mainly. And you know, if you enjoy what you see, you, know, you feel free to stick around. You can feel free to unsub at any time. We're out of the way, let's get into it. So. We're going to start off with weapons because weapons are something that I can talk about. So if you're free to play, which a lot of us are, the prototype Rancor is probably going to be a good base level option for her. So something to note here is you've got a physical damage bonus on her, on this sword. Okay, mine's R5, but it's okay if yours be R1. You're going to get R2 from doing the story, guaranteed. but. If you're lucky, you can probably get it to R5 later, but, you know, I got super lucky, you're probably not going to get super lucky. You know, it's the only time this game's ever been nice to me, so, yeah. But, anyways, as I as I digress, physical damage bonus is something that you can do in Kaching. You can build a physical damage Kaching. You can also build an electro damage Kaching. Some people prefer to have attack, but if you want to maximise your usage, you generally want to go physical damage or electro damage. You know, there is an in-between, and that would just be attack percent, but not very many people do attack percent, but that is all good. Anyway, so, Kaching builds crit damage, I believe, on her level up, so, generally, you want to have some good crit damage going on, so, yeah. Harbinger of Dawn, it's okay. You know, you know, if you don't have a prototype Rancor, you can use Harbinger of Dawn. You'll get this from the Gacha, so you'll you have one guaranteed. Energy Recharge Swords aren't the best for her because whilst her burst does a lot of damage, you she's generally used as a main DPS. However, if you really want to use her as a sub DPS or support, you can use an Energy Recharge Sword. But however, like something like Attack Percent would be a lot better. If we look at the um, archives in a second, we can see different types of weapons. However, the one that you've heard everywhere. Is you want the black sword the black sword is one of the best options for her as a four as at a four star level five star weapons tend to be are going to be better than this black sword however you're guaranteed to get a, a black it's sword so nice by buying the battle do. pass another thing you could also try is, is the primordial jade cutter is apparently one of kaching's best slot weapons right now the test run uses it so we'll hop into the test run in a second to show it off but yeah other yeah, all the five star weapons will be okay on her. I don't think Skyward Pride is gonna be. I think it's called Skyward Pride. I don't think. Yeah, and that's called Skyward Blade. Okay, close enough. I don't think Skyward Blade is gonna be the best on her, but uh, you know, other weapons like Aquila Favonia, Summit Shaper, Primordial Jade Cutter. Those are the, those are like the top three for her. Skyward Blade, it, it, it's it's up there. It's okay. If you don't have like access to five star weapons, I've got no five star weapons on my account ever. So. Generally, you want to look at other weapons. So, the flute is okay. Lion's Roar is okay. I wouldn't go with Iron Sting or the Royal Longsword. They're not too good. Um, the Blackleaf Longsword is also alright for her. So, if you lie on the grass, yeah. you can feel the heartbeat. She's of very the versatile. You know, you kind of want to do what your build needs. You know, if you've got a lot of crit rate, you might want to go crit damage. If you've got a lot of crit damage, you might want to go attack. You know, it depends on how you want to use her, because she's got lots of different options to use. So, we're going to go on to artifacts now. So, there's lots of different sets. So, we'll start off with the big one Gladiator's Finale. 
you can run two piece, four piece. Generally, people only run the two piece for the eighteen percent attack because you, you also can put two piece thundering fury. So you have two piece, two piece cloud, two piece thundering fury. Generally, no, but not very many people actually run a four piece thundering fury on her. But instead, people might consider running a four piece thunder super because when one of her abilities is actually infuses her attacks with electro. So having a thirty five percent increase with your four piece set generally is a good damage bonus for it if you're going for electro so one thing to note as well at this point you'll be wondering what do you put on your goblet do you put on this is hydro but let's say for all intents and purposes electro damage bonus or physical damage bonus now it depends if your weapon is a physical damage so you either got a quid of favonia or you got or you're running the uh prototype sword um, you might want to consider going for physical damage bonus to maximize your damage on that department now that wouldn't say your electro attacks are weak, they'll still do a decent amount of damage, but you'll be maximizing your usage out of your normal attacks. However, if you're running an electro infusion build, then you want to go with a, you know, with Thunder Suva, you want to run an electro percent goblet because that will increase your electro damage, and obviously with the four piece Thunder Suva, you're, you're increasing your damage against electro. Same thing can be applied to the Thunder and Fury set. So. Yeah, that is those are some builds you can try. You can you can also use a two piece Nebula set with a two piece Glad. That that's another thing you can do as well. But that that is going to be as far as um, it goes. Talents wise, yeah, normal attacks generally because you're using your normal attacks quite a lot on your on your uh, Kaching. Like we'll, we'll go into the test. We'll go into the test. Uh, uh, stage to show off. Now, one thing to note in the test stage that I've seen from a lot of comments, and I've only just noticed this: you get more energy in this. So, you know, take take the energy as or as face value. But as you can see in the tester one, we're running a primordial jade cutter, and they gave her an abnormally high amount of crit rate, which is interesting. And yeah. Generally, you want to level up this uh, normal attack, and like you, you can also then I would recommend maybe her burst and then her E. But generally, you know, she's just an all-round good DPS character to play with. Another thing to note as well is if you use your E, your your attacks get infused with electric for a few seconds. And the other thing is. Most people tend to use only charge attacks with us, so yeah, that that's just something to note. So I like to like hear your thoughts on Kaching. Like, you gonna you gonna pull this banner or are you gonna wait? I know I've asked this before, but I am yeah, interested because I'm, I'm planning on making a few videos um, soon, showing off different um, ideas that people have had or what banners people are having. Because I'm following one of my earlier Zhao banner like videos. Or what characters might return soon in Genshin? I, I, you know, I'm tallying the results to see what characters everyone want the most right now, and it's a pretty interesting result. It's a result that I didn't think would actually happen. So yeah, it's moving on that soon. But thank you guys for watching. If you've got any more questions, you can always leave comments down below. I'll try and I'll try my best to try and answer some questions down below in this video. I've been, I've, been, I've been out of it with answering comments recently guys and I do apologize for that so I will try and answer as many comments as I can on this video so yeah thank you guys for watching please take care and I'll see you all in another video soon so yeah peace out